Welcome, I am Gabi Zapodano, Technical Marketing Engineer, Cisco Systems Enterprise Networking Business. In this short demonstration, I will showcase how easy it is to obtain the Cisco DNA Center off token that is required for all the API calls that you will make to Cisco DNA Center. During this demonstration, I will sh share with you how to validate the REST API bundle is enabled, how to locate the API documentation on Cisco DNA Center. I will execute a very simple code and I will share with you where you can find this sample code, additional use cases and information regarding the Cisco DNA Center SDK. On the home page, we are going to locate the REST API bundle by clicking on Platform, Manage, and Bundles. On the left-hand side, we can see the DNA Center REST API has been activated. To locate the API documentation available on Cisco DNA Center, we are going to go to Platform, Developer Toolkit, and APIs. The APIs are grouped based on functionality you can see here on the left hand side uh, a variety of groups of APIs and information regarding the authentication API that we are going to use today. To find out the details regarding this API, we are going to click on the hyperlink and that takes us to the description of the API. We are going to find out also the resource that we need to use and the method that is supported by this API, which is POST. Additional information is included in the API documentation. This information is what is required or optional when we call this API. In this case, we need to provide to Cisco DNA Center a basic auth encoding of the username and password. We are going to execute a very simple script that will receive the DNA Center token. This long string needs to be saved in a variable and used in the future with all the API calls you make to Cisco DNA Center. The Cisco Enterprise Networking Programmability GitHub organization includes a variety of repositories with use cases and sample code that you can use to get started with your projects. The sample code that I use today is included in this repository named DNA Center underscore off underscore token. On this organization, you are also going to find the DNA Center SDK, the Python SDK that is available for you as well. At the bottom of this video, in the description, you are going to find all the useful links uh, to the GitHub organization, to DevNet, to the sandboxes, learning tracks, and resources that are available for you to get you started with Cisco DNA Center APIs. Should you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.